All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Gratuitous here, and I've written an article on how to copy and paste in FL Studio 12. I break down how to copy and paste, like from the step sequencer, the piano roll, in between VSTs, automation clips with the mixer, as well as how to copy and paste in between projects. And if you click on these, it just brings you right to like the, the section, and I break down, um, you know, best practices, um, how to copy and paste. So when copying and pasting within the step sequencer, how it works is steps will copy to steps. So for example, I've highlighted all these four sounds, I press Ctrl and C, and if I just go to a new pattern, I'm going to press F4 for that, and I just go Ctrl V now, as you can see it pasted in the steps. Now if I go to an instrument of mine, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy this, and I hit F4 again to go to a new pattern, you'll see that if I paste it in, it pastes MIDI notes, okay? So within the step sequencer, steps copy to steps and MIDI notes copy to MIDI notes, okay? Now before moving on to the piano roll, if you wanna highlight multiple sounds, how you can do that is you just hold down shift and click, okay? So now I can click however many sounds I want and again, if I press control and C, it's actually gonna copy the sounds in this, in this order. If I click on these, with I'm holding on shift and clicking. You can also push in your middle scroll wheel, that's another trick, or you can just click and hold and drag. Uh, if you click and hold, you can't get as fine tuned. So I'm gonna hold down control and C and now, you can, let's just say, select any of these sounds. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna paste it in the exact same way you've copied it. So there's gonna be a space, a space, and a space. So if I just click here, right, which I am, and press Control V, now it's, it's put spaces there. So if you wanna go to a new pattern, for example, like if you wanna copy like these ones, you go copy, and then you go to new pattern and paste, um, that's the way it's gonna paste. Now to open up the piano roll, you can either right click and go to piano roll, or you can just click the green notes and it'll open up the piano roll. So if you only wanna select certain notes, there's a couple ways to do it, okay? So you can hold down control and click left click and hold and you can like drag what you want but as you can see it's like it doesn't give you so much fine tuning like you can only highlight the upper notes now and you can't really access the lower ones so you can maybe highlight you know all like the upper ones like this and then let's say we just want this bottom note you hold down control shift and then click and that's what you can do you can also uh, deselect sounds too, okay? And then now if I go control C you'll notice if I go to the step sequencer and try to paste these in it's not going to paste and so how it works is the step sequencer data is the step sequencer, okay? So again, steps copy to steps and the MIDI notes copy to MIDI notes within the step sequencer. But the piano roll is kind of a separate thing. As you can see, I've just went control C on this, went control V and it's not pasting. So all I'd have to do is right click, go piano roll, and now if I go control V, it's gonna paste those exact notes in the exact same way I've copied them, okay? So that's how you copy and paste within the piano roll. Now I wanna talk to you about copying and pasting values uh, about VST knobs, okay? So this doesn't work just for VST knobs, this is also for like automation and you know even mixer inserts and stuff like this. So right clicking on a knob allows you to copy the value, okay? So for example, let's just say we move this knob, we go right click and we can copy the value right here. Now I can go and paste that value into any knob. And you know, for example, let's say we were on the mixer and let's say, you know, I was working like with the drum right here and I turn it down and it's like, well, I want this drum to be at the exact same volume as this one. I'll go copy and you can go paste. Okay, so that's a really, really handy thing, especially once you start working with automation clips and stuff like that. So for example, I'm just gonna right click and just create an automation clip and that's gonna create it for like the whole track. Typically when I create an automation clip, I'll hold on control, left click and highlight, and then I'll create the automation clip within that area. That way I'm not stuck with this automation clip that's the whole song when I only wanna automate like a certain area. But if you are working with automation clip, and if I right click and like right click and right click, and let's say I want uh, this point to be the same value as this point. So I'm gonna right click, go copy value, and right click and paste value. And that's just a really, really awesome shortcut so that, you know, you don't have to hold on alt, make the and scroll wheel to like zoom in and like, you know, it's like it's super, super finicky, right? Now, if you want to copy effects over from one mixer track to another, how FL Studio approaches it. So right now I have uh, let's say this gate which is on this insert right here, this drum right here, but as you can see on 15, I don't have that gate, but let's say I want the exact same VST and I want the exact same parameters just to be copied over, okay? So all you have to do is click the arrow, uh, you go save preset as, but you don't click it, you have to click and hold, and it's important because now you can drag it. And this is how FL Studio approaches copying and pasting effects, okay? So now all I have to do is just drop it onto there, and now you can see I have two instances of Pro G, 
And if I go to 14, you can see I have Pro-G. If I go to 15, I now have Pro-G. So that's how you copy and paste effects in FL Studio's mixer. Now, if you wanna duplicate an actual mixer insert, for example, let's say uh, this one right here, to do that, you right click on the actual mixer, you go file, here's save mixer state as, you're gonna click and you're gonna drag. So pretty much the same thing. Um, again, that one is just copying a mixer insert. The one before was actually copying uh, an effect. Now the final thing I'll talk to you about copying and pasting in this video is copying and pasting in between projects. So there's two ways to do it. One way is the quick and dirty way. So for example, how I used to approach this back in the day, let's say I had, um, you know, like this pad here, and it's like, I really like the chords. So let's say I wanted to bring this to another project. You know, you can just go control C on this, open up the other project, go to a sound and use control V to paste it in. Okay, that's super simple. But when you're wanting to actually start working with multiple sounds and you know, you want to kind of work between multiple projects, that's where you're going to want to use project bones. So if you click file and you go export, you go project bones. And the default location for that is actually in, uh, it's in your user data folder. So if I hit F10 here, and if I go file, you'll see that you have, a, you have a user data folder. Now, I personally really don't use this folder. However, when it comes to the project bones, it works really, really good because when you save it in their default location within right here, it saves it within this browser and it would be just under project bones. And now when you go to project to project, you can literally just open up this folder here you can go to your project, you can go to like your step sequencer, and I, I believe it also saves like mixer states and, and everything. And you can literally just click and drag everything over whenever you want between projects. So that's a really cool way to do it. That is the easiest way to do it as with project bones. One other thing I didn't mention is you can also be using like control X to remove a sound. So for example, like cutting really comes in handy if you're wanting to break apart a pattern. So for example, like let's say I don't want the snare in here. So I would click that, I'd go control X. And then in this case, um, you know, I'm gonna hit F4 to go to new pattern and you can paste it in. If I just go to the pad here and click this, uh, if you wanna delete all the sounds, you can literally just press delete. Okay, so that's just a little shortcut there too. Okay, so that's everything to do with copy and pasting. Again, check out the article. It's a step-by-step -step guide about everything with FL Studio when it comes to copying and pasting with the step sequencer, with the playlist, with the pattern, as well as the piano roll. Okay, so if you guys have questions, you guys can leave comments below and I can either create another video or I will respond to you. Again, I have a membership on my website here. It's only $10 a month. You guys get unlimited access to all the courses as well as there's a private forum where you guys can ask me one-on-one -on -one questions. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you guys in future videos.